a lens that mimics how a fish sees the world. That's a fisheye lens. You can also call it an ultra-wide or super-wide angle lens. You've definitely seen it, but you probably didn't know how it came to be and its ties with pop culture and music. If you want to know about those, watch today's video and find out the history of fisheye lenses. Today, fisheye lenses, or the idea of capturing 180 degree photos, might seem nothing out of the blue, but almost every phone has it now. But that wasn't always the case. Traveling back to 1906, there was nothing of the sort. Still, someone thought about it, tried it, and gifted the world's preliminary schematics. Robert W. Wood was a physicist and a professor of optical physics. Before the fisheye lens, he had other inventions, like the microscopic disc, that helps us understand the age of stars. Clearly, he had a quirky way of looking at the world. So one day, he was at the university with a bucket filled with water, a pinhole camera, and light. He wanted to mimic how a fish saw the world, where the entire horizon would be compressed. In his paper titled Fisheye Views, he mentions that the circular picture would contain everything within the 180 degrees in every direction. A fish looking upward at the water's surface will see the entire sky as a finite circle. So a fisheye lens wouldn't only capture the whole hemisphere, but trap it in a finite circle. That's why we see the vignetting around the edges. Fast forward to 1935, German inventors file a patent for an optical lens that more or less did what Professor Robert imagined. They shared the patent with a little camera company you might have heard of, going by the name Nikon. Nikon got busy with the patent, and 22 years later, there was a eureka moment. In 1957, Nikon gifted the world a 180-degree circular fisheye lens. This gift came with a staggering price tag of $27,000. It seemed like glasses have been expensive since the dawn of time. This $27,000 glass was initially used to study meteorology and astrology. However, photography nerds soon caught a whiff especially in magazines and newspapers. Moving forward to 1962, Nikon graced the masses with a consumer-grade fisheye lens, five years from the initial fisheye lens and 60 years since Professor Robert has written his paper. With the fisheye lens becoming available to everyone, people captured everything with that. The close corner aesthetic of the pictures was unique. Shortly, this lens became a hit in the music world as it made rock stars and artists seem larger than life. The Beatles were the first to film their performances with such a lens. In hindsight, it showed the world the band's popularity, artists, and just how crazy people were for them. Besides filming, album artworks or icons also saw prominence of fisheye photos. Fans and artists like the Rolling Stones and Jimi Hendrix had such pictures for their albums. However, that was just the beginning. In the 1970s, this lens was used to capture TV performances, concerts, and of course, photo shoots. Later in 1981, when MTV appeared in the music industry, fisheye lenses had new use cases. Besides filming live performances, now the lens was used to film music videos. This time, it wasn't rock stars, but rather hip-hop artists, and the music industry loved it. Unlike the 1960s larger-than-life aesthetic, Hip-hop artists used it as a way to give off an in-your-face vibe. It worked so well that the lens and its look became a staple in the hip-hop scene. If you loved Busta Rhyme, you'll remember how much he loved the aesthetic. From then till today with Harry Styles' new album, fisheye lenses have been a part of pop culture and the music industry for a long time, and we will see more use of it. It's an interesting aesthetic to say the least. From a lab in university to the booming music industry, the fisheye lens is unique, just like the perspective it offers. It focuses on the subject, making it look larger than life, and shows you the surroundings. Nostalgia mixed with the unique angle makes the fisheye lens a staple for artists and many others. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you loved the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this.